Okay, so we talked about budgeting, uh, maybe reducing some tax. So we've got some savings in, savings in place. What are you going to do with your savings? Uh, cash is, is clearly the obvious one. Um, I guess uh, some other alternatives are shares and property. Um, now, when deciding what to invest your savings, you really need to match your savings with your goal. Um, if it's a short-term goal, like I talked about before, going overseas, you want to be looking at cash-type investments because they're not going to go up and down in value. Uh, you'd hate it if you put your short-term savings goal overseas trip into the share market a couple of years ago because it would probably be 30 or 40% down now. So you take a much longer time to save up the money. Uh, when you're looking at cash, uh, check with your bank. A lot of them have a high interest account. Uh, generally, you can attach it to your normal uh, account that your pay goes in. Gives you an extra 1% or 2% on top of your savings, so that might add up to a few hundred dollars over a couple of years, if not more. So it's something to really look into. Uh, mortgage is a big one. Uh, I won't go into that in detail because that's uh, my next topic on the home loan. Uh, as I talked about before, shares and property, longer term. You really need to be looking at 5, 7, even a 10 year time frame if you're investing in those type of assets because they can and, and do go up and down in cycles. Uh, hex, hex is a big one. Um, a lot of people wonder, should I use my savings to pay off my hex debt? In short, uh, no. Uh, your hex is, a, is an interest free loan from the government. So the government is lending you money to go and do your uni degree and, and get educated, uh, but they're not charging any interest on that loan. So really there's no rush to pay it off. Uh, yes, the, the amount does increase year on year uh, with uh, inflation or indexation, but everything else does in society uh, and hopefully your salary as well. So it's maintaining its real value. Uh, it's going to get paid off eventually. So once, once you start earning over $50,000 a year, 4% of your pay goes towards payment of your hex. And that percentage increases up until you earn, earn uh, over $90,000 and then 8% of your pay each year goes towards hex. And there's no choice. It has to go towards hex. So, it will pay itself off the top, over time, so don't get too stressed about it. Another great <coughs> savings option is a first home savings account, or FHSA. Uh, great tool for someone saving up for their first home, uh, because you put money in and the government puts in a little bit extra. So you put in $5,500 to your first home savings account each year, the government tips in 17%, $935. So almost $1,000 extra the government is tipping into your savings account. So. That can add up to a few thousand dollars each year, or over a number of years, uh, and it's a great option for saving up for a home. Some things to be mindful of though with the first home savings account is that it has to be in existence for four years. Uh, you can't start, start saving up with one of those accounts and then in two years time change your mind and want to pull it out. It, it can't be done. It, it has to be used to pay uh, to go towards a home deposit. Your only other option is to put it into superannuation. Uh, and it has to be in existence for four years, so you can't buy a house within two years and use the money. The account has to be in place four years before you can buy a house. Uh, 